Hey there, Dewdrops. It's Diane from Coravina. Happy Friday. Hope you're doing really well. Hope you are ready for the weekend. All right, so all this week we have been working with blushes and berries, kind of playing off like the skin tone, beigey, nude colors that we did last week, okay? So um, we are doing paper marbling today. We're going to make a really pretty piece of paper. Made a really pretty one yesterday. If you haven't seen that video, you should go check it out after you watch this one. All right, so let's see our inspiration. It's right here. What do you think? I think it's gonna be pretty. Hmm. Let's take a look at our colors. There we go. All right, so I think we're gonna go with these three. Those three small colors. And then these big colors, all right? I know, big and small bottles throwing me off a little bit. But we're into like these blushy, blushy makeup palette -y tones, just super feminine. That's what we're going for today, okay? Once again, we're doing paper. All right, so let's switch your camera view and let's get on with it, all right? I feel like a lot of this picture is that darker tone. So I think that's what we're gonna start out with here today. We're just gonna drop it straight down the center of the tray. You know what? In fact, I think we'll do a couple layers of it and we'll just kind of really beef up this color. This is more of like a, a brownish berry. It's just really pretty. I don't know. I feel like blush is the best way to describe it. Um, but there's so many shades of blush and there's so many skin tones. Hence my uh, apprehension for the best name for it. Well, that color didn't go very far. That didn't do very much at all. <laughs> okay, so we'll keep dropping. Let's see what happens as we add more here. Okay. That color did not work out well for us. Interesting. I feel like our other original, the first color we put in worked out really well. So maybe we'll just add more of that. We'll get it nice and thick. Add paint on top of paint on top of paint. That's what we do with water marbling. And we'll just see how it goes there. I think I had another one of those pesky colors. Um, but it's just not working well with the other colors. Had that slip in there, so that's no fun. All right. I don't remember if it was this one or not. Let's see what happens. Okay, maybe we'll thicken this up here. I think this color is working okay. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right, so let's move this around. Let's see what we can do here with this. We're gonna put our tool in the tray and just gently drag. You can hear that nice little scrape. Or I'll adjust it just slightly and send it back and get an interesting design here. And then I'm gonna take my fine tooth comb and we're gonna comb through it. So we've got a bunch of little teeny tiny arches. Love this one, it's really delicate. Let's see if our paint holds up. Nice and slow. We should have just little flecks of that that uh, peach that didn't really incorporate well. Can't say that I care very much for that, but that's all right. You know, it is what it is. Better luck next time. It seems. You can see that our we have splotches of pink here and here and here and here that are still dispersing, and that's really going to affect the marbling print. So we're going to just let it go for a minute. Okay. Sometimes this happens when you mix your own paints and it's like maybe I'm using it too soon after I mixed or perhaps the ratio um, to all the other additives is not correct. And it's just taking a really long time to dilute on the surface of the tray. So I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a little bullseye right there that the paint is kind of feeding off of and the circle is getting bigger and bigger until it's gone. So if I dip it now, you're going to get dripping and running where the chunk of that bullseye is. All right, but I can see over here the bullseye's gone now. 
this one's almost gone, this one's gone, the rest of it's finishing up. So as soon as that's done, we're gonna dip it. And I bet our print will be better quality with less dripping and running. That being said, I can also see it on our, our color that uh, was just kind of annoying today and didn't work very well for us, our peach. So let's dip this down and see what kind of mischief we've gotten ourselves into today. I feel like it is a little bit off of the painting that was our inspiration. All right, let's check out this is what we wanted it to look like. Uh, these colors down here, it's kind of a bummer because I spent a long time mixing these. All right, so um, let's come back and we'll pull this out of the water and let's see what we've got. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That is the whole challenge of this Facebook group is you know, this is watermark. <laughs> sometimes it's good. Sometimes it makes you want to scream. Okay, let's pull it up. See what we've got. Here we go. Ooh. Well, there's a lot more brown in there than I was thinking. Hmm. A lot of that lighter. Huh. A lot of that lighter color. That lighter cream. I guess I put more in there. Was I being deceived? I can't remember. <laughs> I really don't know guys. All right, so what's gonna happen now? Now I'm gonna hang this up and um, I'm gonna let it dry. I'll have to iron it and then I'll take pictures and I'll post it. And as a matter of fact, thanks to the magic of YouTube, here it is. What do you think? Did you like it? I hope I like it. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll feel differently uh, next to uh, the inspirational picture. I don't know, we shall see. All right, Dewdrops, it is Friday. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. I hope that you have a great weekend, that you are safe, that you have something that brings you joy, especially a little little girl like that. Do you want to say hi, Cora? No? Hi, you guys. It's me. It's her. It's Cora. All right. <laughs> what? Hi. What do you want to say? I was trying to see how tall my mom was with this. <laughs> yep, she was trying to see how tall she was. Oh my gosh. Oh, you. All right. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend. Remember, live colorfully. And happily. Bye.